In this episode, I will be making tea light candles using seashells. Let's see how this project turned out. These are standard tea light candles you would use with your essential oil lamp. You can also burn them without the essential oil lamp to set the right mood in a room. Or have them as a decoration. In case you want a tea light candle for home decor, why not tune it up a bit? How about turning small seashells into tea light candles? I think this would be a very interesting and beautiful addition to your home. Or they would make a perfect handmade present for someone. Show them you care and were willing to dedicate your personal time to create something you believe would make them happy. Handmade presents are always special and the receiving person will always appreciate them. Here is just a small sample of different seashells, which can be used for tea light candles. Seashells come in different shapes, colors and sizes. This gives you great flexibility to choose the ones which fit the color schema of your room or simply which ones you find interesting. You need to decide what you want to achieve with the tea light candle before you choose your seashell. Sometimes you don't even plan on burning it and your intention is to use it as a pure decoration only. In that case you don't need to pay attention to details like the depth of a seashell and the amount of wax it can hold. Logically the more shallow the seashell is the less wax it's capable to contain, which means shorter burning time. In this exercise, I will pick two different seashells. One which can hold a larger amount of wax, the other one smaller amount. One will be used for decoration only and I am not planning to burn it. So the amount of wax is not that important. However, with the other one, I want to make sure, once I lit it, it will keep burning longer than 5 minutes before all wax is gone. So that's why I am using a small tea light wick and testing the depth of a seashell to make a guess how much wax the seashell can contain. Sometimes your eyes may be lying to you and the seashell is actually more shallow than it appears. You may find it out during the wax pouring process, which is already a bit too late. Some seashells have a very unique, interesting shapes and colors, but are not a very good fit for a tea light candle. They either don't allow you to fit the candle wick in them, or the opening for the wick is so tight that if you set the wick on fire, the flame would be touching the seashell, which would cause the seashell to overheat, creating a fire hazard. You should avoid using them. Someone may still try to set them on fire and the lack of knowledge or judgment can create a problem. I always say, it's better to be safe than sorry, and if you are making something like a candle, which could potentially create a hazard, you need to try to make it a foolproof. To melt the wax, we will be using a ceramic cooker. Place a medium sized pot with about an inch of water on a cooker, put the wax melting pot in it, add soy wax and turn it on. This is called the double boiler method. Melting the wax directly over the flame in a standard pot can get too hot and the wax can catch on fire.
Once the wax is melted, I will use a thermometer to check the temperature. Once the temperature is right, approximately 160 to 185 Fahrenheit, which is about 70 to 85 degrees Celsius, you can add your favorite color dye. I am not planning to add any dye to the wax this time, because I want to keep the candles with a nice white milky color. It is easier to fit it into any interior that way. Stir the wax and make sure the wax has turned into liquid and you don't have any solid pieces of dye if you decided to use one. Do not heat wax above 275 Fahrenheit. It could catch fire. If it does, do not use water to put it out. It will cause the fire to spread. Use baking soda or a pot lid to smother it. Let the wax cool to about 140 Fahrenheit, which is approximately 60 degrees Celsius. Once at the desired temperature, add your favorite fragrance oil. Each wax is different and requires a different amount of fragrance oil per pound. A safe bet would be approximately 10 milliliters or one whole fragrance oil bottle which comes with this candle kit per 8 ounces of wax. Pour the fragrance into your double boiler and stir for about 30 seconds or so to ensure it's evenly distributed. We suggest adding the fragrance just before pouring this avoids prolonged heating of the fragrance, which may contribute to some of the fragrance being lost. Sometimes we just forget to add the fragrance oil into the wax, just like I did when making these candles, but that's okay. Before pouring wax into the seashells, I like to secure the wick to the bottom of a shell so it doesn't move around and remains pointing straight up as it should. For this, I will use an old candle maker's trick. You take a wick and wet the bottom of it in the liquid wax. Then take the wick and place it in the middle of the seashell bottom. The wax will act as glue and will secure the wick in its place. The wick should not move even when you pour warm wax over it. I have tried it a few times already and it worked 100% every single time. I prefer using this method compared to using glue. Sometimes you secure the wick to the bottom and you find out after you pour the wax that the wick is not centered properly and you want to move it a bit to either side. What a pain it would be if you use the real glue to secure it. With this method I'm recommending to you, you can very easily detach the wick from the bottom using a fork for example, or even a wood wooden stick. Give it a try and let me know if it worked for you in the comment section below. On the following morning, the wax should be cooled off and solid. With candles of this small size, the cooling of the wax takes a much shorter time, but sometimes the wax, even though appears solid, still can be soft. If you touch the candle too early, the wick can move, which will damage the whole look of the beautiful smooth wax surface.
And this is how the final seashell tea light candles look like. I am very pleased with the final looks. This handmade candle can be used as a decoration or can be used as a gift for anyone for any occasion. The candle making kit I was using today is by Craft Evolved and I will leave the link in the description below. Have you ever tried to make a seashell tea light candle before? Leave us a comment and share with us your experience and your suggestions. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you would like us to create more content like this one, it would help us greatly if you click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.